here today at the second day of Christmas edition of Hyper Japan, the biggest festival for Japanese culture in the United Kingdom. And here with me I've got Joey Lung, the managing director of Terracotta Distribution. Hello. Hi. Um, events like Hyper Japan are a great way to interact with the audience. Yes. So how, how, is your, uh, how is your experience so far? Uh, we've been at every Hyper Japan since the start and we've seen it grow and it's just real phenomenal success this year. This year has been particularly good because people are already in the mindset, you've already said it's a Christmas uh, market, people are already walking through the door with the intention to buy something either for themselves or as presents for other people. So it's been great today, yeah. Brilliant. And could you talk us through your decision to make a touring festival and um, how you felt about it, how it was received by various locations and also what films performed well? Sure. So yeah, we always like to try and grow our festival year on year um, and we've had a lot of people sort of write to us, whether it's Facebook or by email. Um, and they are all outside of London, so they're saying, why is everything in London? And a lot of people from Ireland as well, because there's not a lot of uh, Asian films you can see in Ireland. So we decided one of the good ways to grow would be geographically um, and just tour the festival. We did a sort of pilot program this year, went to Manchester, Nottingham, Bristol, um, and it went down really well. And I think we'll do it again next year, immediately after the festival, and do a full-scale tour. So yeah, Maybe even to Coventry as well. That would, yes. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be amazing. In that sense, do you feel as though there is some kind of prejudice towards East Asian cinema in the United Kingdom? I, I wouldn't say prejudice as such. I would say lack of exposure. So people haven't really grown up watching Asian films. A lot of people sort of my age would have grown up watching like Jackie Chan type stuff and they would know those sort of things. Then you'd have a gap in sort of the 90s and the last sort of 10 years or so where people might have seen Old Boy and that's the only sort of Asian film or Battle Royale and that's the sort of Asian films they reference. Um, they keep asking us, have you got Battle Royale or have you got Old Boy? But I think there's so much more to it than that and I think people like Third Window, Adam from Third Window is doing a great job as well. It's bringing over a lot of comedies which is finding a great audience and following over here, yeah. So not so much prejudice but more um, lack of lack of uh, availability of all, all places where people can watch and be yeah and be familiar with it. So, yeah. And how do you feel events like Hyper Japan, like the Far East Film Festival, like Terracotta Festival? How do they um, build the interaction and opinions of? about East Asian culture as a whole? Okay, uh, well, people are coming firstly to Happy Japan are already in the mindset of um, being interested in Asian culture. So then we can talk to them and interact with them and say, oh, do you like these type of films, etc. Whereas other fairs that we've been to, say for example, the Expo or whatever, um, they're more sort of broader audience. So this is very good for us to have a sort of focus group of people coming and, and having that time to be able to talk to them and tell them about the films that you wouldn't get with, say, column inches in Empire or Guardian, you know, you don't have that level of interaction and there's frankly too much stuff to be reading every Saturday about all the films coming out, so so that, that on the one hand is good. Terracotta is also good, It's a because we do distribution as well, Terracotta Festival is also good for us to do tester screenings, so there may be one or two films that either Third Window or Terracotta would like to release in the UK um, and it will sort of gauge audience reaction. Uh, we do sort of scoring as well, so we get people to write their scores. But also we sit in the cinema and just hear where, when people laugh or when people, you know, have a, have a reaction. So, yeah. And um, Terracotta have released um, quite, uh, quite exciting films over the last 12 months. And now that we approach the end of 2012, um, how do you see the next year pro progressing? And is there anything you can reveal for us? Yep. Um, we're doing a lot of work for other people as well. So in chronological order, in January there's a London comedy festival and we'll be programming the Asian strand for them. So we'll be picking four or five Asian comedies. Um, one is already programmed called UFO in Her Eyes, with director Guo Xiaolu. Uh, she actually lives in Hackney and in Berlin, so she can then go to the Hackney Picture House and do a talk. February we're releasing a very colourful gay cake musical comedy called Antique Bakery. Uh, and in March we'll be releasing a DVD called The King of Pigs. We'll also be releasing that theatrically in January and that's like a really dark sort of high school um, sort of bullying violent film. Um, then we're going to take a break because we're going to focus on the festival and that's going to be quite a big event. Uh, we need to show that we're growing year on year. We'll be doing 10 day festival instead of a four day festival. Um, so the Friday we'll be doing a all night horror night. It'll be taking place from 11.45 all the way to 7 in the morning. We'd like to partner with Fright Fest again. 
Then also we'll be doing um, a retrospective, hopefully a Leslie Chung and Anita and Nita Mui retrospective because it's 10 years since their passing. We'd like to do a Sian Sono retrospective. Um, we'll be doing stuff at the ICA, which is another cinema. We'll be hopefully doing stuff at the BFI as well. So in terms of next year, I think the big focus is for the festival with new sites and new strands. Oh, and also an Indonesia focus. There's a lot of cool films coming out of Indonesia. We'd like to put a sort of spotlight on that as well. Hopefully. Looking forward. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Cheers. Pleasure. Cheers.